What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another Losi Pro Moto video. This one, we got some upgrades from RC All Wheel Drive. Very excited about this one right here in particular. If you own one of these, you know that over time your chain starts to become loose. The pill system back here doesn't work great. Uh, out of the box, this one was where it's at now. And so I really can't adjust it back anymore. There is no more adjustment for this thing. Uh, I haven't had an issue with this chain. It's really not terrible but it is fairly loose. With this, we have a chain tensioner on the rear. So you have screws that run in to the back and as you run those screws in, it's gonna pull the wheel back basically and just like a real chain tensioner on a bike. So uh, this is gonna be very nice to install on here. Then I've got this piece that goes on the bottom here. I think our shock kind of mounts to that. So it's gonna be nice to kind of beef that up a little bit. And then this piece, I think, goes up front in the fork tube system. Um, I'm not going to get to it right now. Just want to get this installed, and uh, we'll check it out. So I'm going to put this on, and then we'll just kind of take a look at how it fits and works and all that stuff, and uh, we'll go from there. So you're going to start out removing all of these screws around the cover here. I would go ahead and remove the plastic off of the other side. This is all you'll need to get to on this side and right there the gears will slide out very easily i started out just taking that top plastic off and then all of the bolts in this cover but you will also need to remove the rear plastic uh, to get to one bolt a little easier then i pulled out the screw from the um, gear there pull out your um, wheel nut and <laughs> the bolt that goes through the rear wheel there that way you can slide your wheel forward and remove the chain easily and then remove the gear as well now you can just take the wheel off and pull your chain off this pretty much gets you into what you need to be into um, then it's just pretty much finding all of the little screws holding the pins and you take those out tap the pins out themselves the gears will come um, right out you don't have to do anything they just kind of pull out once the cover is off and uh I mean, it's very simple. You can pretty much see all of the screws that you need to remove to get this rear arm off. Uh, you do have to kind of take the shock off of um, that piece there that I'm working on as well. A couple little pins in there. And um, it all just comes apart very easily. I'd kind of um, been dreading putting this on just because, I, you know, there's a lot of uh, screws and stuff you got to take loose. The fact that you have to take all of the covers off and everything to get to this. Seems like it's a lot, but it's really not bad. Um, you will reuse all of the bushings and everything that are in the stock arms and stuff. So here you can see the gears just pull right out. And um, that way, this piece that's right here attached to this gear actually kind of holds that rear arm on. Once it's out, you can kind of remove the arm itself. Got to work it a little bit to get the shock out of the way. But then once you get it all, um, the shock out of the way, it's all free and you can remove the rear arm now you are going to reuse the uh, chain guide and our guard and everything off of that as well and then you will just want to pull these little bushings here out and pop the bearings out as well you'll reuse all of that stuff there on the new arm i do highly recommend putting a little bit of loctite on any of the screws that are going into the aluminum that's just um, something that I always do with all of my RCs. If I have any aluminum parts, I use some Loctite. Even the screws that come out of this, they thread through the chain guard them itself and then into the new arm. So I put a little bit of Loctite on those as well when I reinstalled those. And uh, you can see there my arm was already broke. So this is going to be a very nice upgrade for the bike. All right, I moved you guys to the bench here because the lighting's a little better. I wanted to show you how this all went together and how it works. This is all very clean. You do use your original bushings and bearings and everything in this. The only weird thing is my RC all-wheel drive is upside down. I thought for sure I was installing this thing upside down at first, but uh, everything lines up how it's supposed to be. That's just on there wrong. So uh, not a big deal. I'll put a sticker over that anyways. But you can see here the chain is pretty loose and you can just turn these a bit. Kind of want to do both sides at the same time. Keep your wheel straight. 
Don't want to go too much. Leave just a little bit of play in there and then tighten your wheel nut down. It seems pretty good. We've got a little play in there and everything's tight. So the only thing that I, you know, this is could be a potential point that you're hitting on stuff, but I mean, you're gonna hit the chain or sprocket more than likely before you really hit that screw. I was playing around with putting the nut on the inside of here and just using like a M3 screw in from this direction. Uh, I think that would work pretty well. You just have to get like a M3 by 10 or 12 probably so that it doesn't get in the way of the bolt here or the nut on the back side. But I think that would probably work also. And then you just have the kind of button head sticking out back here. But uh, I'm going to run it the way it's meant to be ran. RC Allwood Drive did send me this to uh, check out. So, you know, I did receive it for free. But in my opinion, it seems like a really nice upgrade. Everything fit great. It looks awesome. And you get the chain tensioner, which is huge. I actually bought an aluminum arm in black for one of my other bikes and it doesn't have this it was before anything like this was released and now i wish i didn't even buy it honestly so i may just sell that one but um this is the way to go in my opinion i think these are uh gonna be on sale here shortly so definitely i'll link them in the description i appreciate you guys checking them out uh, if you use the link i do have a uh, discount code with rc all-wheel drive i'll try to link that in the description as well and um I'm going to be doing the giveaway on the decals very soon. I just wanted to give people plenty of time to get entered into that. So maybe over the like Thanksgiving break, weekend, whatever, I'll try to get that done. But uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around, checking this out. Going to uh, go run this, rip it real quick. So I appreciate everybody. Peace. Oh, yeah. And I'm hoping to have more of the hoodies on the merch site this weekend. So definitely check it out. I'll link it in the description. This arm totally changed the looks of the bike also. It just looks so much more realistic, and these stickers fit perfect. I am so stoked with the looks of this thing now.